What I look like this morning is a very accurate representation of how I've been feeling this week, and that's trash. What a week. Hmm. Well, I guess first of all, hello and welcome back to another episode of MAV. Um, I want to apologize to each and every one of you for not posting much this week. I got one video out, I think, but it's for good reason, I promise, and I'm going to tell you that story right now. Okay, so... Matt, what happened this week? Why did you only upload one video? What's happening? What's going on in your life? Are you, are you, are you sad? Are you sick? Are you dying? Um, the answer is really no to all of those things. Um, yes, I've had a rough week. It's been pretty brutal. And I guess let's just, let's just start off by telling you guys what happened this week. For those of you that don't know, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you already know this. Um, but this week has been an absolute gong show. That's the best way I could put it. A gong show. But let me just... Let me just back up and go ahead and tell you the whole story of what happened and how I got robbed. So my week starts off, I'm feeling really good, coming off of Easter, coming off of a nice trip with Nate, have a lot of footage to edit, got a video done, I'm feeling good. And uh, it comes it comes a time in the week where, you know, I need to go up on the next trip and I'm, I'm planning a trip with my, uh, my buddy Adam. We got some great food, cooked and camped outside. It was freaking awesome. Got to steelhead fish in some of the most pristine waters in the Midwest. Um, it was really great. And uh, on the drive home, we were feeling a little discouraged because we hadn't caught, caught any fish. And we, we planned a little trip to go into the heart of Minneapolis. And, you know, we get back to my house. I unload some stuff from the truck. Um, and we both hightail it and go to this lake. So it's not really much of a lake at all, it's more of a pond. We pull up and I'm grabbing all the camera gear, getting ready to film, putting all these batteries in my pockets, yada yada yada. Close the truck door, lock it, and start walking around the pond and fishing, filming videos and whatnot. We're fishing, we're scouting out, trying to find trying to find carp. We're, we're looking on the shorelines and trying to see if we can see these fish in the water. The max distance I'm ever from my truck is 50 yards, 50 to 60 yards. That goes on for about, I don't know, I'd say we're fishing for about an hour and a half, two hours maybe. And uh, I get back in my truck and just hightail it out of there. And I get back home at about 8.30 at night. And when I get home, I'm feeling like I kind of want to edit, kind of want to mess around on my computer. And uh, I go look for my camera bag. And um, it wasn't there. It wasn't in my room. It wasn't in my truck. I was pacing around on the phone with... Someone, I don't remember if it was Adam or Sobe or who it was, but I was running around my house trying to find this camera bag and it's nowhere. It's nowhere to be found and I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm calling people. I'm like, what the heck do I do? What am I supposed to do? Um, at this point, I think I left it somewhere. I lost it, blah, blah, blah. Um, I go into the truck. I'm tearing apart my truck at this point, tearing apart my camper setup, tearing apart everything in there, thinking that a camera bag that's this big could somehow shrink down to this size. Um, but... I found one thing in my truck that made me realize that I definitely didn't have that anymore. And uh, that was, I looked in my back seat and I saw my, my glasses um, and my computer charger were in a different bin than I normally keep them in. And uh, the top was off. So immediately I knew that somebody had been in my truck and had done that. Um, yeah, all my stuff was gone. So I lost, lost a lot of equipment. I lost a drone, I lost my laptop. I lost a camera, and uh, I also lost much, much more than that. Um, the biggest thing about losing the laptop, um, honestly, isn't that isn't the material item itself. It's not the laptop. Obviously, I need a laptop to do what I'm doing and edit. And but it's it's more so the memory side of stuff. Um, that computer had four years of memories. That computer had everything on it. I mean, it had resumes, it had applications for jobs, it had work that I've been doing for the past four years, it had old college essays, it had pictures. Huge bummer. Um, lots of good memories with friends lost on there. Lots of, you know, applications lost. Um, I don't know. It's honestly, and 
at the same time, too, it's kind of traumatizing having your laptop stolen. That's all of my personal information. I mean, there's so many things that were on that computer that I had to change and that I had to worry about right after it was stolen. And on the flip side, you know, the obvious reason why this sucks is because this stuff's expensive. I mean, I'm just coming out of college. I have a lot of debt racked up from being in school. I'm not really making a lot of money on YouTube right now. Um, and I'm working part-time to pay for my things that I do have. I'm working part-time to pay off my truck, I'm working part-time to pay off all the expenses that go into going on these trips. Um, but the amount of equipment that I lost is, is pretty substantial and I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So after all that happened, I mean, I was pretty torn up, man. I, I haven't felt like that in a long, long time. I wouldn't eat, I was sleeping terribly. <sighs> The, the couple days that were following that were definitely tough, um, but it wasn't over then. <laughs> a couple days go by, I was in the process of kind of replacing some of the items that I had lost, and as well as trying to, you know, kind of cheer myself up by going out to lunch and whatnot. So I'm coming home from lunch, and I absolutely smoke a turkey when I'm driving. Takes out my headlight, and just completely wrecks my headlight, completely wrecks my front bumper, just destroys it. It's just done, done so, gone. I am definitely on a cursed spell right now. I, I can't make these things up. It was at this time that I realized you can, you can keep kicking me, but like there's, there's only so much that hurts. Like after that happened, you just kind of got to laugh about it. I mean, what can you really, what can you really do? You just got to keep, you got to keep on keeping on. I don't know, that moment made me realize, <laughs> that moment made me realize that, you know, things happen and mistakes happen. Um, for every bad experience, there's gonna be a good one. And uh, I'm paying my dues right now, but in the future, life is gonna get better. And it's, it's not always gonna be like this. I filed a police report. I've talked with the cops. I've given them serial numbers of the items that I've lost. I'm having a really hard time coming up with the upfront costs of paying for my equipment. Um, although some of it should be covered by my insurance, I don't know if I'm gonna see all that stuff back. Um, I've been working really hard the last couple days to kind of remember everything that was in that backpack and get it all down and get it over to the insurance company. I don't know what's gonna be covered, I don't know what's not. All I know is that I need every single piece of equipment that was back in that bag because I use that in a day-to-day -day basis. Luckily I had my main camera that I'm holding right now and my GoPro on me because I was filming a video for the channel. But everything else that I usually carry with me, like in the boat, um, whenever I go anywhere, is all gone. All of it is just gone. So I have like this camera, a couple batteries, and some SD cards right now, and I'm stressing out. So, <sighs> it's all gonna be good though. It's, it's gonna be okay. So I guess something that I've just been telling myself the last few days is that you just gotta keep trucking. Um, you gotta keep on keeping on. When one door closes, another one opens. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You know, just keep trucking. Keep, keep doing what you need to do to make yourself happy. Um, life's gonna kick you right in between the legs. It's gonna, it's gonna hurt you. It's also gonna be great sometimes. Um, but there are gonna be rough weeks, and you're gonna feel like you're completely helpless. But I'm here to tell you that, guys, it definitely gets better. Keep on trucking isn't uh, keep going hard, hard, hard at what you're doing if you're not happy. Keep on trucking means keep going outside, keep hanging out with friends, keep taking more pictures, keep taking more videos, keep fishing, keep hiking, camping, doing whatever it is that makes you happy. Believe in yourself, believe in what you have, what you have to offer the world and believe in a better future. So to help out with some of the initial costs on the stolen equipment, I've actually designed some t-shirts, stickers, towels, um, and whatnot with the Keep On Trucking logo on it. I'll leave a picture right here. Um, there's gonna be a link in the description uh, that goes to Teespring, um, and all the merch will be up there. So if you guys wanna support this channel, help me get my feet back under me, and help me get the equipment back that I lost, um, the tea this Teespring link is in the description. There's several different items for men and women. And if you guys aren't in the market for a t-shirt or anything, I actually started up a GoFundMe as well. Every dollar counts, guys, and it's gonna go directly to helping me get my equipment back. So just remember, life life always gets better. Whether it be you're going through a tough breakup, you're not liking your job that you're at, you're 
not happy with the classes you're in at school, your mom's sick, your grandma's sick, your dad made you the wrong meatloaf for dinner, I don't know, whatever you're sad about, just know that it's not the end. It's not the end. You can get through it and it's going to get better and life is going to get better. You just got to believe and keep moving forward. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode. I'll be back out with another episode on Tuesday. Until then, my name is Maverick and keep on trucking.